Hello everybody and welcome to another Ogre Cast. I'm Ogre and I will be your host of this game of StarCraft 2. It's a 2v2. Shadows Bane, the Protoss. Killer B as Zerg, as he got randomly I'm sure. Versus Arleos, the Terran. And Hammerhead, the Protoss. So, um... Shadows Bane says he's terrible at scouting. So, I guess he's trying to tell Killer B that he wants him to send a drone. Uh, oh, okay, Arleos went <laughs> random and random, so, uh, apparently, again, Shadows Bane and Killer Bee are coming off of a loss, uh, much like the last game that I cast, so, um, I, I guess they haven't gone on a winning streak any time recently, uh, <laughs> but, uh, y usually they do play some pretty decent games. Uh, really enjoy watching these two guys play, so uh, thanks for sending the replay, Shadowsbane. Um, looks to me like Arleos is going to be doing the Terran Wall on this entrance to his base, uh, which usually says to me that uh, he's going to get a factory up and some siege tanks as early as possible. Uh, Shadows Bane still just Chrono Roosting Probes. Uh, we finally got a spawning pool down on 13 for Killer B. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the scouting scene. Looks like Shadows Bane has a scout here. He can see the, the front wall being built. He's trying to harass this SCV here, uh, and he's doing a pretty good job. I mean, that thing is down quite a bit. If he can get this uh, probe shields back, he might be able to get a kill with that guy. Um, let's take a look at Arleos, and there is no scouting going on for these two, uh, the Arleos and Hammerhead, so... Um, Oh, is that probe going to make it out? He's got one hit point. Get out of there. And he makes the turn. Beautiful. He's got his shields back, uh, and he's looking good. Uh, Double Gate is the scout for Shadow's Bane. Uh, we got only one refinery up so far. Uh, looks like two racks now. Um... Usually, if you were actually going siege tanks, you'd have both of your refineries up by now, I think. Uh, so, maybe he is going to go uh, Marine Marauder. Uh, that is Arleos. Is it? Yeah, Arleos. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we got the Cybercore coming up for Shadow's Bane. Uh, I do have to mention that I uh, get a little bit of lag. There's still... Uh, when... StarCraft 2 updates uh, and you're casting one of the older games from before the update you get some lag spikes um, so that's the reason why it is lagging just a tiny bit here. Uh, Shadows Bane has got a zealot posted here at Killer Bee's base I'm not sure if he expects reapers there or what but uh, yeah uh, usually a zealot's not going to be very good against a reaper anyways. Now, second gateway is up for Shadows Bane. Let's take a look at what's going on here. we got all four gates up for Hammerhead. Uh, the Cybercore, however, has not even started researching warp gates, so... Um, not sure what's going on there. You would want your warp gate coming out. Look, yeah, look at that. Shadows Bane is halfway through researching it almost. Um, it, it's even one of those things that, uh... Like, look at, look at all the Chrono Boost Shadows Bane has. Uh, usually you would either want to be Chrono Boosting that, or maybe he's saving up his Chrono Boost. Like, uh, see, I don't, even, I don't even think it's possible, because he doesn't have his, other, his next two gates out to be going four gate. Um, but I was going to say, if you're saving up all this Chrono Boost, uh, usually it's so you can... Chrono boost all four of your gates, and then you put out eight units all at the same time. But, uh, I don't think that's what he's doing. I think he's just falling a bit behind on his chrono boosting. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the warp gate is almost finished. Let's take a look at the production tab here. Uh, warp gate is only halfway, and, wow, five gates already for Hammerhead. Um, something 
tells me like uh, to have five gates going you generally have to have two bases um, but maybe he just likes having that extra gate in case he falls behind on his macro uh, looks like killer bee is hoping to expand over in the corner there uh, we got roaches and evo chamber um, speed upgrade for roaches coming and Zerg missile attacks is I mean that's a pretty fast upgrade by Killer B so I think he might have seen well I'm not sure if he watches videos uh, uh, for strategy purposes but uh, Sai actually has just released a, a video talking about the roach with upgrade play um, and uh, rather than whereas rather than teching up to higher tech units, actually just getting the upgrades for roaches and pumping out as many of them as possible, it, it, uh, it's become pretty popular right now. Anyways, um, so it looks like Killer B wants to make the move to the middle. Uh, if, I, I just want to see. I mean, the vision for Arleos and Hammerhead. Compared to the vision for uh, for Shadows Bane and Killer B, like look at the map coverage here; it's it's pretty good. Um, and of course, taking the middle of the screen will definitely give you quite an advantage as far as seeing the army movements. I like where the watchtowers are placed on this map. Uh, if you can hold one of these watchtowers. Uh, you basically have like this watchtower on the right. Uh, it it you basically have map control, uh, a, a good deal of info for what's uh, pushing out from that base there. So uh, <laughs> yeah, shadows pink comments on the five gates, <laughs> one of which is upgraded to yeah, one of which is upgraded to a warp gate. Um, yeah, I don't know what what hammerhead's deal is right here, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, I like how Shadow's Bane is getting a couple of Immortals out. Uh, immortals are going to just absolutely destroy these stalkers that Hammerhead is going. Uh, really good use of scouting info for Shadow's Bane. Um, and rather than all these stalkers, uh, because of the amount of Marines that Arleos has, I would tend to go uh, charge lots uh, more so. Um, but he's got uh, three gate robo going on. He doesn't have his uh, uh, council up, so um, he can't get charge. So uh, the stalkers are the more mobile unit right now. 